Oma Gyana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Venama Jai Shila Kadamukana Swami Maharaj Ki Jai Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vindu Ki Gaur Premanandi Uh, this week has been really packed with so many emotions for the devotees across the planet. And uh, online we are seeing and hearing different outpourings of affection towards the service and association that Srila Kadamakanana Swami Maharaj rendered to so many in the world of ISKCON. And it only serves to increase our attachment to his lotus feet. Uh, it helps us to see how much we may have neglected and minimized our association with him. It's helping us to become focused on his transcendental qualities. So many that the devotees are lovingly revealing before us. Karamakana Maharaj was especially a friend to all and different devotees felt how he offered his personal association to them, tried to bring them closer, and encouraged them. I met him in Pretoria. I'd met a few of our Iskon sannyasis and gurus. Uh, then he had come. He gave a talk. And he was making so many jokes, but really exposing all of our maya. Uh, there was a devotee from Argentina at the time. He was laughing. It was like a stand-up comedy set. <laughs> uh, he, he was laughing, rolling on the ground, this devotee. And Maharaj's points were landing, basically exposing uh, my misconceptions, my my conceptions and at the end I was feeling like I don't really like this Swami what type of Swami is this <laughs> this is so many jokes and but he had already touched <laughs> he had already pointed out my flaws so much that I just I felt I'd seen the others you know they were all formal and they were, this is a guru okay and at the end the students came up to him and they were giving their japa beads to him, asking that he should bless them. And uh, okay, part of me was like, okay, you know, everyone's doing it, let me also just go. So I handed over my japa beads to him. He looked at me, you know, big smile. As you can see, we, we chose the smiling pictures. <laughs> Practically the whole internet is full of them. I gave him, he grabbed my beads, he looked at me, he said, bless, bless. <laughs> and he, he gave them back. And I thought that I really don't like him. <laughs> and some uh, next visit, you know, <laughs> Maharaj, as he was, was like a, he brought a kirtan cleanse to the temple. Like every time he came, he just blew away all our misconception, all our doubts. He took out a chunk of all of our anathas, and um, we, we were for him, and he was for us. And I understood, actually, I really loved this Swami. <laughs> so I, I told him, uh, Maharaj, you know, I, I really thought I didn't like you in the beginning. <laughs> I said, really? Why, Savi? <laughs> you know, uh, so he, 
he accepted service from us in terms of um, some friendship that uh, he accepted us almost sometimes like his equals. Uh, but we were protected because although he was so forthcoming with this association, the depth of his realization and his purity uh, always kept us awake. At least I always uh, could perceive what an amazing person who is able to bring this Krishna consciousness wisdom with so many very high ideals and with a whole lot of cultural baggage maybe that it comes with. He made it very practical. He understood our modern situation and mentalities and uh, Maharaj made it clear, no, this is, it can be done. Difficulty is what to do. What to do. This is a mature world. And just in closing, we heard um, from His Honest Jadwita Maharaj uh, that his final words um, that he, he uttered, um, the word mission. So, in South Africa, as many devotees have spoken and will continue to speak, his particular mission uh, was that all of us should become representatives of Lord Chaitanya and distribute the gift of Lord Chaitanya. And in this country of South Africa, with all its baggage, uh, half of our congregation are born uh, during apartheid. Therefore, have a conditioning that comes from that time. We have conditionings for many lifetimes. Prabhupada diagnosed that the material disease is the bodily concept of life. And this is our struggle in this yatra. The bodily concept of life. We are struggling at the level of the soul, conditioning, and also conditioning from the previous dispensation of this country, a divided nation. Kanama Kanamaraj entered this same yatra and gave all the devotees of Viscon a sense of belonging. He was never siding with this one or that one, but he has identified that the mission in this yatra is to touch the 85% or in fact 96% demographic that has not been affected by Krishna consciousness. The Africans and the so-called Europeans, Africaners, and so, Will we take this mission up? Like Fanon said, you know, a generation should uh, identify what its mission is or, you know, stand to betray it. It will all go down and become Hinduism and very much stagnant and boring if we do not engage the rest of South Africa. And Many devotees have come through this movement from you know, other communities to dedicate themselves. If we don't bet on those who have to cross so many obstacles to enter Krishna consciousness, if we don't recognize who they are, and we don't uplift them and empower them and see that we facilitate that they do what we may be conditioned not to be able to do, then we will move from the transcendental Sankirtan movement of Lord Chaitanya back to Hinduism. Which means you just go to the temple and try to get your blessings and you give in the hundi and you clear your karma and you're a good person. But Lord Chaitanya has said, Pari Kari kari para upakar. 
that to benefit others with the highest good. He had already said, Janmark, Sataka, that those who have gotten this gift of being connected to a birth in India, just like who was saying earlier, how we are all Africans, yes, and we're all South Africans, yes, and then also we are Indians, yes. So the connection to India cannot be given up because we have a body and the bodies have designations. And Mahaprabhu said, those who have taken their birth in the land of India, Bharat Vasha, it is their duty to benefit the world with this gift of Krishna consciousness. That is the mission. It is not that we have an elite Hinduism religion in ISKCON. We are better than all the other Hindus as Hare Krishnas. No, we are the ones who distribute the gifts of Mahaprabhu to everyone. And so this sadhu came and came again and again and tried to give all of us and tried to also highlight this mission. And let us not fail in this mission. It is clear. Krishna consciousness has to touch the very South Africans that most of us are worried are probably trashing this country. Right? Privately we know. If it's 85% Africans, they're probably the ones that are messing up the country. Yes? So how will they do better? They must know better. And what is that knowledge? It's the Krishna consciousness, which helps us to transcend the bodily concept of life. Balaram is walking with Sri Krishna. Sri Balaram to me, Lord Balaram. <laughs> In Vrindavan. And Krishna is glorifying Lord Balaram, seeing all the trees uh, are bowing down to you, Balaram. They recognize your greatness. And uh, Lord Balaram doesn't want to take that glory because he is the servant of Krishna. But Krishna is saying, actually, these trees are very, very great personalities because the trees, they benefit everyone. Those who want shade from them, those who want to cut down their wood, those who need fruit from them, they benefit everyone. And so the Lord spoke that with our prana, with our atha, with our dia and our vacha, our life, our wealth, our intelligence should be used for the benefit of other people. Otherwise, life as a human being, no better than an animal's birth. So it is clear in South Africa what we have to do. Our life, our intelligence, our wealth, our time to push Krishna consciousness to the rest of South Africa. That will be the glory of our Indian connection. Otherwise, then we just simmer in our own selfishness we become bored and we start to compete with materialists for the prestige of the body, which is the disease, bodily concept of life. So we thank Maharaj for being our friend, our well-wisher. He gave us enthusiasm. He gave us ecstatic Krishna conscious memories. He gave us love. He made us feel seen, all of us. Um, so to honor him, we should do what all the great Acharyas are asking us to do, to spread Krishna consciousness in wherever we are, in whatever ways we can. We love you, Srila Kadama Karana Swami Maharaj, and uh, we pray that you continue to inspire us as you have done while you are with us, as you will continue now that you have departed from our vision. And uh, may we catch a bit of your ecstatic mood in distributing Krishna consciousness and that we can become happy and we can be a practical example 
of what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu meant by chant and be happy. Shila Kadama Karana Swami Maharaj Ki Jai. Gaur Pramanandi. Is grace ever such a Prabhu key?